Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture. So now from here onwards, we'll try to understand about the PB structures. We'll try to understand the different components. We'll try to understand the advantages of PB and all. So far the building, what we have seen, that is also a PB building. Okay. But there I explained you from the execution point of view. We did not try to understand each and every component of that building. From here onwards, we'll try to see each and every component of the building. We'll try to see the advantages of the pre-engineered buildings and we'll try to see uh, other things which we haven't discussed so far in the uh, previous uh, sections, what we have understood in the showroom construction. Yeah. So the first reason why we go for the PB structure is that it reduces the construction time and makes the construction faster, right? Because what happens here, uh, like for example, if I uh, like, if I'm, I mean, if I got a project, then what will happen? I can start with my foundation works. I can do the excavation. Whenever I'm doing the excavation, at the same time, the fabrication work can be done in the factory. So simultaneous works will happen. As a result of that, your construction time is going to reduce. That's the first thing. And you can, with the help of that, what will happen? Your construction is happening at a faster rate. If you're going with the concrete structures and all, you have to do a lot of curing and all, right? Suppose like if you want to put up the slab, let us say, first you're supposed to do all the uh, centering work, the shuttering work, the reinforcement work will be done. After that, you're going to put the concrete and after pouring the concrete, you have to wait, you have to do the curing, right? So there are a lot of things. That is why the concrete structure, what happens, it will take long time. But when it comes to the PV structure, what will happen is construction time is faster and uh, it will also require less time compared to your uh, RCC structure, okay? Second is the better quality control due to most of the works are carried in the factory. As the structures are entirely constructed in a factory under regulated condition, quality control in the case of PB is guaranteed. That's the second um, advantage. So here, all the materials that you are getting is everything is, is everything is done in the factory. Since it's done in the factory, there's a good quality control which we can take care of. So that is the reason uh, there's a better quality control in the PB structure, right? Third one is that faster construction and able to do parallel activities like footing and pedestal casting. Like I mentioned, uh, see, uh, all whatever you can see from here, everything is a pre-engineered buildings, okay? But below that, you'll be having a pedestal. Below the pedestal, you have a footing and all. But for doing a footing, you have to do the excavation and all, right? So that is the reason what will happen. Here, parallel activities can be done. Uh, the moment you are doing the excavation work on the same time, you can start with your fabrication work in the factories. So both the work can, can be done simultaneously. Whereas if you're going for the concrete structure, there is nothing like uh, uh, simultaneous, uh, there is nothing like parallel activities initially. So first you have to do the excavation, footing should be done. Only after the footing, the column will be put up. After the column, then you are going to do the backfilling. Then the plinth beam will come. Then the ground floor column will come. Then the beam bottom will come. So right. But here, there is no such things. You can do parallel activities in the PV structure. Next is flexibility in expansion for future use. Suppose, let us say this is a structure what you are constructed. After some time, you felt like you want to again expand it. So again, expansion becomes easier in the steel structure. In concrete also, you can do the expansion, no problem. But yeah, you need to insert some double bars and all, uh, just in case if you are not planned it initially. Next is pre-engineered buildings. The This PV buildings, no, they weigh less 30 to 35 percent less weight compared to your steel structure so the uh, the conventional steel structure what we have like the truss system and all okay compared to that your pb structure will have 30 to 35 percent less weight we'll try to understand why it has 30 to 35 percent less weight it all depends on the bending moment diagram we'll try to see that and another thing is that the pb underlying structures are straightforward designs that are simple to assemble using the lightweight materials. And whatever sections we are using it in PEB, you know, they are lightweight structures. So like the sections are lighter compared to your conventional steel structures. Next is one, one manufacturer provides the entire building kit for the PV. As a result, the compatibility of the building materials can be completely guaranteed. Again, when you are when you are putting a PV structure, what happens? And this entire thing will come from one particular factory or one particular agency. For example, like this is a column, then we'll be having a rafter, we have a purlins, we have sack road. Each and every component, it is brought from one particular company or from one particular factory. So because of that, what will happen? One is there's a good quality control and you can have a good, uh, uh, what do you call? Uh, 
conversation with them so that uh, you don't have to worry about the procurement and all but when you're going for the concrete structures and all there usually there also it's uh, everything will come according to time but yeah you will have you will be having a different vendors for that steel is brought from a different person uh, concrete is uh, brought from a different person shuttering is from a different person right so that is the reason in uh, compared to the P, uh, compared to the concrete in the pb uh, structure what is happening is there is a proper uh, workflow and uh, uh, there is a better quality control and the last point is a scrap value so uh, let us say after some time i decided like i don't want to you know uh, operate this particular building so i can just dismantle each and everything and whatever dismantling i'm going to do it has a value like all the steel has a value it has a scrap value in case of the concrete you don't have a scrap value you have a scrap value only for the steel for the reinforcement bar for the concrete there is no scrap value as such ha huh, but nowadays uh, people are using those demolish concrete and all for other activities but yeah compared to the steel structure the scrap value is less in the uh, rcc structure now coming to the disadvantage part first is that it may be prone to corrosion if not taken care correctly so that since it's a steel structure if you're not doing if you're not taking uh, proper care and if there is no proper maintenance if there is no proper painting works and all done then yeah there is a chance that there may be a corrosion in your steel structure okay next is uh, despite being a powerful conductor of the heat steel reduces a building thermal comfort because see everything is made up of steel here right and steel will absorb good amount of heat so if it is is going to absorb a good amount of heat the person who is inside the building will feel lot of you know hotness right so because of that what will happen the th thermal comfort is yeah, thermal comfort is a problem but yeah since we are using a proper puff panel and all proper ventilation and all other things will be taken care of so that will not be a major problem but this is one disadvantage which you can consider next point is due to conductivity this structure is more prone to fire and damage because steel is a good conductor of fire right so at the moment this particular building or this section so the steel if it catches fire then what will happen uh, since uh, steel is a good conductor what will happen it is prone to fire and it is it's going to damage after some time what will happen uh, all this will uh, get damaged the durability of your structure will come down all your columns rafter entire building is going to get damaged because of the fire so that is another disadvantage of your pv building so compared to the disadvantages but though all those disadvantages can be taken care of by proper measures yeah compared to the advantages yeah advantages it's a i mean it will give you a good advantage compared to your normal steel structure or even your rcc structure so that is the reason we are using pre engineered buildings for most of the construction nowadays if you have seen almost all the metro constructions and all other construction uh, pre engineered buildings are used for almost all type of uh, construction that is going on right yeah so yeah fine so in the next lecture we'll try to understand the difference between the conventional steel structure and the pb steel structure then we'll try to understand why we need to go with the pb structure and then we'll see some other applications of the pb structures where it is being used so i'll see you back in the next lecture thank you